Alright, hello there. I want to talk to you about fear. So fear used to be something very important for us as a species. Because let's say we were getting attacked or there was some fear of danger, this fear would protect us. But there's a little problem, at least in Europe right now, about fear and people letting fear control their life. In economics, there is a word, it's anti-fragility, which I really like. It says calculate the loss you can have from taking a risk. And if the loss is minimal, you should go and take this risk. Right, so you're in a pub with your friends, you're having fun, and there is this cute guy or girl sitting over there, and you're thinking to yourself, wow, they're so beautiful, if only I could go and talk to them. Well, you could. But there is something in your head happening and it's telling you, well, don't do it. What if this happens? What if that happens? You get all anxious, you have like, you panic and you know, you're afraid and you just don't do it. So once I was taking the bus, and this is a real story that really happened. I was taking the bus and I found a really interesting guy taking this bus with me. I was looking at him, he was looking at me, he was this great, he looks like such a creative human being, you know, he had white long hair tucked back behind his ears, piercing on his face, a long black coat. The expression that he chose to use in his clothing was just amazing. I just really, really wanted to talk to this guy. But I was not sure. And I was, you know, procrastinating, saying like, mm, not now, not now, not now. And, but I was a bit tipsy, which was playing the good side for it, I guess. So he got off one bus stop station before me and uh, I was in the door, the door was still open, it was off and I was thinking, should I go to talk to him? Something inside of me wanted to scream at him and go chase him and something inside of me was afraid because it's not normal really to run after someone from the bus. So I got off from the bus but then I got right back in and I got off and back and I repeated this like five times when finally the door started to do -da 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 -da, which means it's going to close very soon and well i ran out from the bus he was quite far by then but i chased him and i said hi i'm so sorry i know this is weird and i don't do this normally but you seem such like such an interesting person and i would love to have a conversation with you and he said well all right let's find the pub and have a beer this was at two in the morning by the way so we sat to take a beer and one beer became two and two beers became three and um we ended up chatting until 6 in the morning and he's such a great guy and like this conversation brings so many great things to my life and yeah I have him on Facebook and hopefully <laughs> soon when I have finally some time I will invite him for a beer or something I can I'm proud to be able to call this person a friend for me it was really important well the thing is it's not easy to make a decision like this I would compare it to when you stand very high up on a rock and you want to jump into sea or lake or river. And it's even maybe a place made for the jumping, right? You know it's safe. Many people have jumped right in front of you. They're all right, the water is warm, but you're so high up and there is a piece of you that just wants to be free and jump. But then there's this piece of you who's like, oh, you know, shaking because maybe you're afraid of heights then it's very difficult. But if you're just having this fear, this human nature fear of not being sure, but you know it's safe. So in anti-fragility, there is almost no loss there. Then it's worth to take the risk. Well, how to do it? There is this very famous technique now on the internet, count down to five, you know, so you stand there, you go five, four, three, two, one, you jump which works for a lot of people, as I heard, but personally for me, for example, it doesn't work. You can try it, maybe it will work for you. What works for me though, is to silence my mind completely, to stop thinking, to stop thinking, which is very hard for a lot of you, I know, but if you meditate a lot, you can practice this moment of, you take a deep breath, you let go of everything, you jump. So I've jumped from rocks many times and one of my favorite memories is with friends on roads when I took them to my favorite jumping spot late at night where they never have been before and we all jumped together. And if I was afraid to jump in the first place, I would never have known. So it's important in life to know that sometimes you can use fear as this kind of tool because once you have done something, 
that you were afraid of. You finally jump into this water, you finally talk to this stranger on the bus. You have this amazing sensation of relief, of happiness. You're proud of yourself that you did it. I want you to try to do every now and then something you're afraid of. Like say hello at a, to a co-worker at work that you never really talk to or if you're afraid of spider for spiders you can try to let some spiders crawl on your finger but that's a bit extreme if you have arachnophobia it's you know that's different but it's just if it's like a little fear you know it's difficult with fear but I think you should learn to use it as a tool instead of a blockade because the problem with fear these days is that it's a blockade it you know stops you maybe from even doing the dream job you have because maybe you're working as a lawyer and you're getting a fair, enough, fair amount of money and you're so happy about it but you love painting and you would love to be able to just paint well you don't have to quit your job right away but if you feel like you want to do something if there's this side of you that is screaming for you to paint at least start to paint on free days or weekends and don't be afraid to show your art to people you never know maybe you're really good and maybe once you realize and you've done one or two expositions you actually realize that you can make men enough money to leave your lawyer job that you don't really like anyways and just paint but you will never know if you let this fear consume you it's important to calculate the like if you take a risk always calculate what's the loss because the worst thing that can happen if you go talk to a stranger is them not wanting to talk to you and that's not really a loss because you know, there's so many people in the world. The same with painting. So maybe you're not such a good painter, but if you love it, at least you can do it as a hobby to your lawyer job. Don't be afraid to do, to listen to the side of you that's screaming out, go do it. Promise me that once in a while you will try to talk to this cute person in the bar. You will try to do, you know, try something new that you're interested in. You will go to a concert of a genre of music you don't really listen to promise me you will not be afraid of trying new things and exploring your life exploring yourself your mind because at the end of it all you just have one life and no matter what your religion tells you if you're christian it's heaven or hell basically if you're buddhist it's a door and then there is another life but you will not remember this life in that life probably so you just have this life no matter what happens after you this is all you get there will not be anything more and i want you to go out there and just live and if fear is a blockade learn to work with it and remember you will still be afraid i'm still afraid many times but use this fear don't make it stop you don't put it between you and something you want please <laughs> with this i will leave you Oh, by the way, you know where this is filmed? I will try to show you. This is actually filmed on a, on a rooftop. I have to put the light thing down. I don't know if you can see it, but this is a rooftop over Prague. And you know, it's high up. And I could be afraid, I'm not saying I was. But I still climbed here because I know it's safe. There are stairs. The rooftop is also strong. So the loss of me falling is almost impossible it's very improbable so the risk is worth it see learn to use your fear <laughs> see you